Hey everybody, Bill Jeppy here, Kimberly Vassal's roving beer snob, and today I've got something special for you. It's Founders Brewing Company's Kentucky Breakfast Stout, or KBS for short. What this is, is a gigantic imperial stout aged with coffee and chocolate and then put in oak bourbon barrels. It's a beautiful beer. It's probably one of my top five beers out there of all time. Uh, very limited, and I thought, why not do something special on the review, put it on camera. I only got one bottle, let's drink it today. So without further ado, I'll get into a glass and let you know how it tastes. Okay guys, so we have the beer in the glass. Again, this is KBS, Kentucky Breakfast Stout. Uh, what we have here is a big Russian Imperial Stout. We're coming in at 11.2% uh, alcohol. So it's, it's up there, it's always in that ballpark. Um, it is a recipe taken, um, a lot of people think from, Founders has another beer called Breakfast Stout. Uh, and a lot of people get them confused that they're the same beer, just Asian and bourbon barrel. They're not, they're a different recipe from everything I've read and know, but similar flavor complexities. Um, big coffee, big bitter dark chocolate they actually use like these chunks of dark chocolate in the brewing process. It's a fabulous beer, like I said, it's one of my top five beers ever. I get it every year. Previous years it used to be a lot easier to come by. You can end up with a couple four packs at a price, uh, but this year I was only able, able to nab one bottle, which is fine. It's a beer that's probably best consumed fresh because of the coffee. Um, you, know, you just really want that rich, dark coffee. I'm a big coffee drinker, so um, appearance-wise, like you can see, dark stout, there's really no light getting through that that beer. It pours out really, really thick and viscous. Initially, um, when we poured it, had a, a good, you know, maybe full finger, two fingers of fluffy, tight, tight bubble, tan head. Um, sticking around a little bit, there seems to be good carbonation, some alcohol feed on there. You know, obviously it's an 11.2% beer, there's gonna be some booze in there. Um, Smell-wise, Again, you're getting massive amounts of coffee and dark chocolate. What you get from a bourbon barrel, um, you know, as a person that likes spirits but isn't the biggest spirit, you know, purchaser, bourbon has a, a vanilla, an oaky character to it. You get some caramel and some toffee that it adds to it and some char. Um, you know, it's kind of what aging the stout adds to, to the beer. Um, there's other spirit barrels that brewers are using, you know, wine casks. Uh, rum, gin sometimes. Bourbon seems to be the one they gravitate towards for stouts and barley wines because um, of some of those, those caramel and toffee blend really well with the roast of the dark malts that you're using in the brewing process and this is no exception. It's, it's fabulous the way it smells. And I'm going to dig right in. See, that's the benefit of drinking this beer right away instead of aging it. You really get that dark, rich coffee character on it. I've had these bottles before where I, you know, I want to sell over a couple of them, and the beer doesn't taste the same. So it's almost better that I only got one because I want to drink it right now. This was actually bottled at the end of March, and we're only in the first week of April right now, and it's just very pungent, roast coffee, big dark chocolate. I will admit that the aging process does take some of the booziness out of the beer because it kind of integrates a little bit more over time. This does have that kick in the back of your throat and going down your, uh, your, your esophagus, I guess, that you feel that bourbon heat, that bourbon boozy heat because it is so big in alcohol. Um, stings you a little bit, but just in sitting here talking since I've taken that sip, I really get a lot of vanilla, um, some, like, some tannic woody dryness. Um, but the vanilla being pronounced and you know, it almost leads to that caramel and toffee flavor. It's really fabulous beer. Mm. Yeah, I mean, if you're able to get your hands on this, you'll see it in draft around Pennsylvania, very limited in the next couple weeks. Definitely something to get a pour of, even if it's a small pour because of the alcohol content, just to give it a whirl. Background on Founders, they do distribute to Pennsylvania very regularly. They have a line of products that's in my opinion, second to none. They, the, you know, the only thing they might not be branching into completely is sour beers. Other than that, their lineup for me is a, is a top three brewery completely. Um, other beers that you can try on a regular basis from them are their regular breakfast stout. It actually has a young boy eating a bowl of porridge or a bowl of oatmeal on the front because it's an oatmeal stout. Uh, seek it out. It's not an expensive four pack. It's 10 bucks, 11 bucks. Great beer. 
They age pretty well. Again, the coffee-driven beer. Their Imperial Stout's fabulous. And then their line of IPAs are just as good. So, you know, we've had IPAs on the, on the, on the show in the past, and that's something I gravitate towards. They've got a great lineup of them. So top three brewery for me, top five beer all time for me. Uh, I can't say enough about this beverage. Um, yeah, I got to go. I'm, I'm going 97. You know, I, I don't give anything those high rankings without really loving it, and this is right up there. Um, uh, I would I would seek out some, trying to start, try some of the other beers in that bourbon barrel aged stout class. If you see bourbon county stout from Goose Island, definitely one to seek out. It's up there for me as well. Um, Weyerbacher makes a couple bourbon barrel aged beers too. They're from Pennsylvania, but um, you know this is this is a top tier for me. So uh, I'm going to leave with that. I'm going to continue drinking this. Have a safe and happy weekend. Uh, be safe out there and drink great beers. Cheers. <laughs>